Okay, the second step after the installation is the configuration of the Linux Ubuntu OS operating system. Uh, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm not on the ILO connection anymore, but I switch to PuTTY. So I open up PuTTY and connect it to the IP address of my server and logged in. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to run some comments to update the server uh, with the latest patches. Now what I can do is every comment that I'm going to run, I can put sudo in front of it so that I have the root privileges or I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to say sudo minus I, then hit enter and enter the password of my administrator account. And so at that moment I have from now on uh, these root privileges. So the first comment that I'm going to run is apt update. And so it will check now for the latest updates that are available. I'm not installing them, just validating. And as you can see on the screen, there are 64 packages that can be upgraded. The next comment that I'm going to run now is apt upgrade. And it's with the apt upgrade where I'm going to confirm with yes. Now, all these 64 packages will be installed. So let's give it a short moment to finish the installation, the upgrade of this server. And there you go, that finished. Now, before we can actually start the installation of uh, HP Morpheus VM Essentials, uh, there's one more um, package that we need to install um, to support the GFS2 uh, file system. And so that is the Linux generic HWE2404 package. So we're gonna run this comment. I'm gonna confirm with yes back again, and then should go quite quickly to install this package. And once this is done, we should be ready now to start the installation. One thing I'm gonna do is reboot this server just to be sure that everything is active and installed. And so after the reboot of the server, we will get started with the next step, which is the installation of the VM Essentials software.